Hey guys, uh, I can't really have Strep right now, so appreciate the fact that I'm still making a video for you guys, even though I feel like I've been sucking Shaq's fat for the past 48 hours and counting. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now I know I said I wasn't going to make another video in this fashion, but I kind of lost sight of what I was going to do in the first place. Um, in my head I was going to do a One Night in Sydney video montage, but that's kind of the opposite of what I said I was going to do in my last video. So, lack of planning and foresight, but try and forgive me just this once. Uh, with that said, let me show you what happened after I clocked off work on my Sydney business trip. Let's go! First up, since I was going to miss my regular bouldering session back home, I hit up 9 Degrees Bouldering Gym in Parramatta which was about 10 minutes from Olympic Park where I was staying and about 40 minutes from the CBD. Awesome facilities and friendly staff, highly recommended if you're in the area. With only an hour to train, though I failed, and I failed, and failed a lot of the V3s, since I didn't have much time to really project the problems. Still, I had heaps of fun and it's definitely somewhere I'd love to go back to when I have more time in the future. Once time ticked over to 6.30, I packed up my calloused hands and headed to my dinner reservations at Aria. Australian celebrity chef Matt Moran's Two Hat restaurant with a view of Sydney Opera House and Sydney Harbour Bridge. This was probably the highlight of the trip, totaling $322 for the tasting menu with accompanying wine without the tip. Now, a lot of people will ask, but why? Which I find very hypocritical. A lot of people will live by the words, live life to the fullest, or when you're on your deathbed, you'll regret the things you didn't do. But when they themselves or someone they know has the opportunity to follow those words, all of a sudden, it's the stupidest thing you could possibly do. The next question I know a lot of you will ask will be, but was it worth it? And to that my answer will always be yes, it's always worth the experience. But in my opinion, the food will be enjoyed by those who can appreciate food not just by the taste, but by how well it's presented, its texture, its smells, in other words, a pretentious twat like myself. With that said, let's go through the dishes one by one so I can share what was on the menu. Oh, and uh, before I start, a little something to know if you're not familiar with fine dining. This may differ slightly depending on where you are, but you know how the plates are all set up in front of you and you have a thousand forks and knives to use? Handy thing to know, start from the outside and work your way in. Now, onto the food. Guys, this is the compliments of the chef, little pepper cracker with pickled turnip, finesse and salami and Dijon mustard. Tapioca crisp with lemon and parsley and a fish relet. We have here, so this is the oyster dish. Oysters are out of the shell, they're from Coffin Bay in South Australia. Served on a little dashi custard. So uh, finished off with some sh uh, shaved uh, fresh wasabi, wasabi flour. Finished off with uh, beach bananas, which are a beautiful local sea succulent. And then a uh, little crispy nori bites. So we have some um, beetroot done two different ways. Some pickled beetroot, beetroot purees, some salt and water, some beetroot plus leaves, and then some goat's cured ice cream, and some beetroot powder. Some certain calamari, slightly grilled. We serve that with some parsley puree, and some raw bean leaves, raw bean leaves, fermented caper leaves, and then dressing of squid ink and black garlic. Now, the more wine I drank, the more pretentious I became, as you can see. Swelling the wine, sniffing it, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. There's a stigma associated with these places that you get a tiny portion for an extravagant price. But for those of you who have done a course digger station, you'll know just how stuffed you get by the end of it. After dinner, I headed off deeper into the city and got a Thai massage to relax. Now, I could have recorded myself half naked getting rubbed down by a small Thai lady, but I don't think you guys are ready for that visual quite yet. As the night went on, I went back towards the Sydney Opera House to just sit by myself and take in that I was in Sydney. I finally got to the hotel by two, at which point I was ready to crash. <laughs> 